sweepstakes promotions that Reader's Digest have, they're, they're an integral part uh, of Reader's Digest's success in the global arena. Uh, it's why they are one of the leaders in direct marketing throughout the world and of course in South Africa. Having sweepstakes does help us to sell a wide variety of excellent products. But I need to draw your attention to the fact that you don't actually, in many draws, have to buy the product in order to enter the competition. We have just as many people who have won, who have not bought anything, as we have people who have actually purchased products. And having said that, I would encourage you, please buy the products, <laughs> don't say no. <coughs> now, the, um, the winning entries in the Manzani Million Sweepstakes, they were drawn on the 16th of December, uh, 2011. And as always, we always have a um, media lawyer present because his job is really to ensure that um, everything is above board, that the numbers truly are random. <clears throat> and from the entries that we received for this particular sweepstakes, we drew 209 winners. 200 people actually received citizen watches, which are worth uh, 800 grand each. There were three people who won a combined amount of 280,000 Rand, uh, and those were actually awarded during the year. There are three separate competitions uh, during the year. One is run in, uh, I think it's in April, one is in July, and one is in October. And of course, we have four major prize winners here with us this evening. <coughs> now, before I announce the winners' uh, names and the prizes that they, they're going to receive, I want to tell you just a little bit about the early history of the Reader's Digest ma magazine because many of you probably don't know how old the magazine is or how old Reader's we'll Digest is. We'll <laughs> <laughs> this year, and specifically this month, February month, is the 90th uh, birthday anniversary celebration of Reader's Digest magazine. So it was started in February 1922. That's a long, long time ago. And I'd like to show you, just out of interest, say, just so that you know a little bit about the history of the magazine. I have two exact, exact replicas of the first magazine published. This was a sort of prototype that was produced. And this was never published. This was produced by the founders of the magazine, a gentleman by the name of David Wallace and his wife, Lila Aitchison Wallace. And this was produced in 1920, January 1920. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was the prototype. And if you look at it against a modern magazine or a current magazine, you see it's slightly bigger. Okay, they changed it and brought it down in size a little bit. And that is the original Reader's Digest magazine in my left hand, published in 1920. Different in the sense that there's no advertising in this whatsoever. Initially, Digest did not allow any advertising. The magazine was sold through direct mail only. Uh, advertising came in many, many years later. But as you can see, a little bit smaller in size, slightly shorter. But basically the magazine hasn't changed in 90 odd years. And that's partly why it's been so successful. Today the magazine is published in 50 different editions and in 20 different languages throughout the world. And I don't know any other magazine that has comparable statistics. So it really is a success, success story beyond belief. Okay, let's, that's enough about the magazine. <laughs> let's move on to the really interesting stuff. Without further ado, here are the winners for today. For the 450,000 grand prize and super bonus, it's Mrs. Ellen Moses. Ellen is from Summer Greens in Cape Town and she's here with her son, Alistair. For the 350,000 thank you prize and express customer bonus, that goes to Daniel Corky. Daniel is from Ron Ball in Mayerton, and he's here with his wife, Corey. Congratulations. Thank you. For the 115,000 Rand gold number giveaway, it's, uh, I'm going to say it right, Mohan Hill, Lal <laughs> Bahari. Again, he's from Isipinga and he's here with his wife, Tita. And last but not least is uh, Mrs. Barbara Skulls. She's from Northern Park and she's here with Beverly Knowles. Uh, 
uh, at first I didn't believe it. But uh, when the check came, uh, the air ticket came through, then it was real win. Um, I think I'm going to buy another car. Well, I thought at the, at the beginning it, it was a house because I didn't, I didn't really believe it. What is the present moment and is it going to go to the bank? And then after that I'll, I'll decide what, what to do with it. Very excited and surprised because I've been buying from me to start this since 1969. Uh, pay off any debts <laughs> and uh, hopefully have a bit to spend or put away for old age. I actually didn't believe it. I thought it was a prank. <laughs> oh, I would like to uh, put a, a large amount of it on my bond. You never know it. You might win like I did after many, many years. 